Ever wondered what it would be like to discover a place that defies all maps and charts? Dive into The Phantom Island, Sail into the Unknown, a sleep story that takes you on an enchanting journey across uncharted waters. Here, you'll experience the thrill of discovery, the camaraderie of a diverse crew, and the mystery of an island that appears and disappears at will. The story opens on a sunny day at a bustling harbor, as the diverse group of adventurers gathers aboard their vessel, the Serpent's Eye, preparing to embark on a thrilling journey. They are a motley crew, brought together by their love of adventure and their insatiable curiosity about the unknown. Captain Reynolds is a seasoned sailor in his late fifties, with a weathered face and a salt and pepper beard. He's seen it all in his decades-long career, having faced down pirates, storms, and sea monsters. Despite his gruff exterior, he has a heart of gold and a strong moral compass, which have earned him the respect and loyalty of his crew. Dr. Amelia Thornfield, a woman in her mid-thirties, is a historian with an unrivaled passion for maritime legends and ancient civilizations. Her sharp wit, vast knowledge, and practical mindset make her an invaluable asset to the crew. As the journey unfolds, her expertise will be crucial in deciphering the island's mysterious past. Kai, a prodigious 21-year-old, is the Serpent's Eye's chief navigator. He's highly skilled with modern navigation equipment and has a natural talent for reading the stars. With his penchant for technology, he's outfitted the ship with the latest gadgets and communication devices, making it one of the most advanced vessels of its time. Kai's youthful enthusiasm, boundless curiosity, and resourcefulness prove vital to the crew's survival and success throughout the adventure. The rest of the crew consists of a diverse cast of characters, each with their own unique skills and background. Among them are Ravi, a skilled engineer who ensures the ship's engines and mechanisms run smoothly. He's a problem solver and an inventor, always thinking up innovative ways to overcome obstacles. Luna, a seasoned sailor and experienced diver with a deep connection to the sea. Her knowledge of marine life and underwater landscapes makes her indispensable when navigating treacherous waters and exploring underwater ruins. Santiago, a charismatic cook with a passion for culinary arts. He's able to whip up delicious and nutritious meals, even with limited resources, helping to keep the crew's morale high and their stomachs full. As the crew sets sail, they are filled with a mix of excitement and trepidation knowing that the uncharted waters they're about to navigate could hold untold wonders and unimaginable dangers. Little do they know that their journey will lead them to the discovery of a lifetime, the enigmatic Phantom Island. In the deep, abyssal hours of the night, when the ship is bathed in the ghostly glow of the moon, the graveyard watch is the loneliest and most arduous shift. The ship glides through the inky black sea with only the rhythmic hum of the engine and the occasional lapping of the waves against the hull to break the silence. Kai, ever enthusiastic, volunteers for the graveyard watch. He's there in the ship's control room, surrounded by a constellation of blinking lights from the navigation and communication equipment. His eyes are glued to the radar screen where the ship's steady progress is marked by a tiny, persistent blip. Suddenly, a new blip appears on the radar, indicating a landmass directly in their path. Kai squints at the screen, then cross-references the radar with the ship's maps and navigational charts. There's nothing, no island, no shoals, not even an iceberg, recorded at that location. Confused, Kai alerts Captain Reynolds and Dr. Thornfield, who join him in the control room. They confirm his findings, and the ship slows its course, cautiously approaching the unidentified landmass. As they draw closer, a dark silhouette starts to form in the distance, shrouded in a dense, almost sentient fog. It's an island, 
jutting out of the sea like a fortress of nature. The crew watches in awe and disbelief as the phantom island, christened thus by Dr. Thornfield, appears and disappears amidst the fog. One moment it's there, a looming shadow in the twilight, and the next it's gone, swallowed up by the sea and the mist. Each time it reappears, it seems to have shifted its location slightly, further defying all laws of nature and geography. The mysterious island's intermittent appearances and disappearances create an eerie, almost supernatural atmosphere aboard the ship. The crew is filled with a mix of curiosity and trepidation, sensing that their discovery of the Phantom Island is just the beginning of a journey filled with wondrous discoveries and perilous challenges. Word travels fast in the maritime community, and news of the Phantom Island spreads through seafaring channels like wildfire. It starts as whispers in harbors, tales in taverns, and rumors among fellow explorers, until it becomes a global fascination. The allure of an uncharted island that appears and disappears at will proves too tantalizing to ignore. Among the many drawn to the island's allure are explorers and treasure hunters from every corner of the globe. They are driven by various motives, fame, fortune, scientific discovery, or sheer curiosity. The Phantom Island, with its enigmatic properties, promises a reward like no other. One such rival explorer is the infamous Captain Blackbeard. A notorious figure in the maritime world, Blackbeard is a man whose reputation precedes him. He's a tall, imposing man with a long, dark beard that gives him his name. His eyes are cold and calculating, revealing a mind always at work. He's known for his ruthless methods and his insatiable greed, leaving a trail of plundered treasures and vanquished foes in his wake. Blackbeard captains the Leviathan, a ship as formidable as its captain, with a crew of hardened sailors who are fiercely loyal and equally ruthless. His interest in the Phantom Island is not driven by scientific curiosity or a desire for discovery, but by the potential power that the island holds. He believes that if he can harness the island's abilities, he can use it as a tool for his own ambitious plans. As the news of the Phantom Island spreads, the Serpent's Eyes crew finds themselves in a race against time and against their rivals. They must navigate the island's mysteries and overcome its challenges before it falls into the hands of those who would exploit it, setting the stage for a high-stakes adventure filled with intrigue, danger, and unexpected twists. From the moment they set foot on the Phantom Island, the crew of the Serpent's Eye is plunged into a world of the uncanny and the inexplicable. The island, shrouded in an ever-present mist that diffuses the sunlight into an ethereal glow, has an almost otherworldly aura. The island's terrain is a perplexing mix of verdant jungles, craggy cliffs, and sandy beaches. However, the crew quickly realizes that the landscape is fluid, changing and shifting as if the island were alive. Paths that were once clear become overgrown in an instant. Towering cliffs dissolve into gentle hills, only to reappear elsewhere. The crew's experiences on the island are equally as confounding. Luna, the ship's diver, sees spectral figures out of the corner of her eye. They're there one moment, gone the next, leaving only a chill in the air and an echoing whisper on the wind. She's not the only one. Others report similar sightings, each apparition seemingly tied to the island's past, providing tantalizing but cryptic clues to its history. Perhaps the most disconcerting phenomenon is the inexplicable time distortions that the crew experiences. Kai, the navigator, is the first to notice. His state-of-the-art chronometer, which never misses a beat, starts to behave erratically, jumping forward and backward in time. Other crew members report similar experiences, moments when time seems to speed up or slow down, hours that pass like minutes, and minutes that stretch out to feel like hours. 
These strange occurrences unnerve the crew, but they also fuel their curiosity. With each supernatural event, they become more determined to uncover the island's secrets. Guided by Dr. Thornfield's historical knowledge and their own tenacity, they delve deeper into the mysteries of the Phantom Island, unknowing of the trials and revelations that await them. As the crew delves further into the island's mysteries, Dr. Thornfield's expertise in ancient civilizations becomes invaluable. During their explorations, they stumble upon remnants of structures, weathered by time and reclaimed by nature, hinting at a once great city that had thrived on the island. Intrigued, they set out to investigate these ruins, hoping to learn more about the island's enigmatic past. With her keen eye for detail, Dr. Thornfield discerns that the architectural style and symbols adorning the ruins point to a long-lost civilization, one that predates any known to history. The city, now reduced to crumbling structures and overgrown paths, must have been a marvel in its time, filled with grand temples, palaces, and bustling markets. As the crew continues their exploration, they find ancient texts etched into stone tablets and walls, written in a language that has been lost to the sands of time. Through painstaking research and linguistic analysis, Dr. Thornfield begins to piece together fragments of the island's history. She discovers that the civilization that once inhabited the island possessed an incredible power, the ability to manipulate space and time. This power was harnessed through a mysterious artifact, a crystal of sorts, that served as the source and conduit for the island's supernatural phenomena. The civilization was able to use the crystal to control the island's appearance and disappearance, as well as to manipulate time itself. However, the island's inhabitants eventually lost control of this power, causing the island to become unstable and leading to their decline. The crew comes to the realization that the ancient power is still active, causing the ghostly apparitions time distortions, and shifting landscapes that they have experienced since their arrival. As they uncover more clues, they begin to understand that in order to unravel the island's secrets and restore stability, they must locate the mysterious crystal and unlock the knowledge of how to control its power. But with rival explorers closing in and the island's defenses growing more treacherous, their task becomes a race against time and danger. As the Serpent's Eyes crew delves deeper into the secrets of the Phantom Island, the surrounding waters become a mirror of the increasing tension. Dark clouds gather overhead, casting a shadow over the seascape. The once calm ocean becomes restless, with waves growing larger and choppier by the hour. Just as the island's mysteries grow more complex, so too do the challenges at sea. Rival explorers, lured by the tantalizing promise of untold power, begin to converge on the island. The most dangerous among them is Captain Blackbeard and his crew aboard the Leviathan. The notorious ship, recognizable by its ominous black sails, is a menacing sight on the horizon. The crew of the Serpent's Eye find themselves forced to divide their attention between deciphering the island's mysteries and defending their discovery. Captain Reynolds takes command of the situation, drawing on his decades of seafaring experience to maintain order and morale among the crew. His calm, steady leadership is a beacon for the crew in these turbulent times. Nautical skirmishes break out in the surrounding waters, with rival ships attempting to land on the island. The sea becomes a battleground, with the sound of cannon fire echoing over the waves, interspersed with the cries of gulls and the roar of the ocean. The crew of the Serpent's Eye must use their wits, sailing skills, and whatever weapons they have at their disposal to defend their position. All the while, the island seems to sense the approaching danger. Its supernatural phenomena intensify, as if to ward off the intruders. 
The ghostly apparitions grow more frequent, the time distortions more severe, and the island's topography shifts more rapidly, making navigation both on land and at sea increasingly perilous. The crew realizes that they are in a race not just against rival explorers, but against the island itself. They must unlock the secrets of the ancient civilization and gain control over the island's power before it falls into the wrong hands, or before the island's defenses become too much for them to handle. As the threats from rival explorers and the increasingly volatile island escalate, the crew of the Serpent's Eye find themselves in a high-stakes race to unlock the island's remaining secrets. The race is not just against time, but also against their own limits, as they grapple with the increasingly dangerous supernatural phenomena and the looming threat of Captain Blackbeard and his crew. Dr. Thornfield leads the crew's efforts to decode the ancient texts, working tirelessly to piece together the fragments of history and knowledge. Every discovery is a step closer to understanding how to control the island's power, but it's a puzzle of unprecedented complexity, one that would challenge even the greatest minds. Meanwhile, Captain Reynolds must keep the ship safe amidst the growing chaos. He orchestrates a series of daring maneuvers to evade rival ships, outwit Captain Blackbeard, and protect the crew from the increasingly treacherous sea conditions. His leadership is tested as never before, requiring him to draw upon every ounce of his nautical expertise and strategic acumen. The rest of the crew, each in their own way, rise to the challenge. Luna the diver, braves the roiling waters to sabotage rival ships, while Ravi, the engineer, uses his inventive genius to fortify the serpent's eye against attacks. Kai, the navigator, uses his technical skills to maintain communication and track the island's unpredictable movements. Santiago, the cook, keeps the crew's spirits high with his culinary delights and an inexhaustible supply of sea shanties. The climax of their struggle comes in the form of a tense showdown between the Serpent's Eye and the Leviathan. As the two ships circle each other in a dangerous dance on the turbulent seas, the crew makes a final push to decipher the island's secrets. They know that their survival and the fate of the island hang in the balance. This climactic confrontation tests the crew's mettle, loyalty, and resourcefulness like never before. In the face of overwhelming odds, they must stand together, drawing on their shared experiences, their unique skills, and their unwavering belief in their mission. To protect the Phantom Island and its powerful secrets from falling into the wrong hands. With each passing moment, the pressure mounts, and the crew of the Serpent's Eye works tirelessly to decode the remaining secrets of the Phantom Island. Dr. Thornfield, with her unwavering determination, finally uncovers the key to controlling the island's power. With this newfound knowledge, the crew manages to tame the artifact, soothing the island's erratic behavior. The island, now stable, ceases its ghostly disappearing act. It remains solid and real amidst the turquoise waters, its supernatural phenomena subsiding. The shifting landscape still, and the apparitions vanish, leaving behind an island that is as beautiful and serene as it is mysterious. In the waters surrounding the island, the climactic confrontation between the Serpent's Eye and the Leviathan reaches its peak. With their ship fortified and their spirits high, the crew manages to outmaneuver and outwit Captain Blackbeard. The rival explorers, defeated and their ambitions thwarted, are sent away, leaving the crew of the Serpent's Eye as the sole guardians of the island. With the immediate threats quelled, the crew makes a solemn pact. They decide to keep the existence of the Phantom Island a secret from the world. Having witnessed the greed of their rivals and the danger that the island's power could pose if misused, they understand the need to protect it. They dismantle their navigational recordings, 
fabricate an alternative journey log and vow to deny the existence of the island. It's a heavy responsibility, but one that they accept willingly. They become the silent guardians of the Phantom Island, preserving its mysteries and ensuring its unexploited tranquility. As they set sail from the island, they look back at it one last time. The island, bathed in the soft glow of the setting sun, stands as a testament to their incredible journey. They carry its secrets in their hearts, a bond that unites them and a shared adventure that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. The Phantom Island fades from view, but its memory lingers, a phantom itself in the minds of those who had the privilege of uncovering its mysteries. With the Phantom Island now a secret part of their past, the crew of the Serpent's Eye prepares to set sail for new horizons. Their ship, once a simple vessel of exploration, is now a symbol of their shared adventure, bearing the scars of battle and the echoes of laughter, argument, and revelation. Captain Reynolds, looking out at his crew, can't help but feel a sense of pride. Each member, whether they started as a seasoned adventurer or a green novice, has grown through their experiences. They've shown courage in the face of danger, resilience in adversity, and an unyielding commitment to their shared cause. They are no longer just a crew, but a family, bound by a unique bond that only they understand. As the ship sets sail, the Phantom Island shrinks on the horizon, its image slowly fading until it's nothing more than a speck in the vast ocean. But while the island disappears from their sight, it remains vivid in their hearts and minds. Its mysteries, its challenges, and the lessons they learned there have forever marked them. The island is a part of them now, a testament to the fact that even in a world so thoroughly explored and mapped, there are still uncharted mysteries waiting to be discovered. The story ends on a hopeful note. The crew, forever changed by their experience on the Phantom Island, looks forward to new adventures. They carry with them not just the memory of the island, but also a renewed sense of wonder and respect for the world's unknown corners. The sun sets, casting a warm golden light over the serpent's eye as it sails into the open sea. Its sails billow in the wind, carrying the crew towards new horizons, towards the promise of more adventures, and perhaps more phantom islands to discover. The world is vast, and they've only just begun to explore its mysteries. <laughs>